Hello, I'm Tom Bushell, the Sports Explorer, and my journey across America has brought me here to Washington, D.C. In today's episode, my final Washington, D.C. adventure is on the water as I show you how you can kayak along the Potomac River, taking in Washington's sights and most famous monuments. Don't forget to subscribe, turn on your notifications, you can like and comment below as well, and follow my journey. kayaking on the Potomac River in the heart of Washington DC and this is the story of how you can do it too. Now who said Washington DC was just about the politics? This is a city which has been in the news quite a bit over the last few years it's fair to say but today isn't about bipartisan bills, presidential inaugurations or even riots. No, today I am showcasing to you how you can digest this city from the water on your very own kayak. I'm renting a kayak from Key Bridge Boathouse. It's in Georgetown and from the downtown area of Washington, you can get a bus here which takes around 30 minutes. You do need to pre-book your adventure. Very simple to do on their website and I'll put all the details in the description below. It'll cost you $20 per hour and you can go two miles south or two miles north. My recommendation is go south. And the reason for going south is because that's where you'll find many of Washington's famous landmarks. Ah yes, all of the sites are starting to come into view. Okay, that's the Watergate building on your left as you head south, of course famous for a certain President Nixon. If you're not sure why, watch the movie Frost Nixon. If you're wondering where gate comes from, describing any sort of scandal, it all started there at the Watergate building. Just past the Watergate, you'll find the John F. Kennedy Center for Performing Arts. Essentially, on this north bank of the river is Georgetown. It's a wonderful place to come and eat and drink and just have a nice walk as well along the Potomac River. I have to say, it's a really nice kayak, this. So much activity on the shore, boats, but at the same time, it's lovely and peaceful. That's Washington Monument there. Of course, named after the first ever President of the United States of America, George Washington. It's 554 feet tall and it is the tallest obelisk in the world. No building in this city is allowed to be built taller than the Washington Monument. And also in the view there, of course, is the Lincoln Memorial named after the 16th president of the US, Abraham Lincoln. And when you actually visit Lincoln Memorial, the statue of the man himself is actually quite overwhelming as he towers above you. The Lincoln Memorial, of course, is where Martin Luther King Jr. gave his very famous I have a dream speech. Right, it's time to head back. And to do that, we're gonna loop around the Theodore Roosevelt Island, not to be confused with the Roosevelt Island in New York City. So when you turn to head back to the boathouse, you'll have the island on your right, and on the left will be Arlington in Virginia. The island is in memory of number 26, President Theodore Roosevelt and is actually really popular for hikes, not the longest of trails, but they wrap around the woodlands right across the island. Cars and bikes are banned on the island, so you can only get to it on a footbridge. Fighting a bit of a breeze on the way back, make sure you give yourself plenty of time, or whilst you're on the water, call the boathouse and get your time extended which is what I have just done. Pressure, 
I can see Key West Bridge, which means we're almost home. It's been quite a paddle to get back upstream, I have to say. <laughs> so if you want my advice, come out here late afternoon as the sun's getting lower in the sky. Get yourself a couple of hours as well. An hour feels a bit too rushed for me because there are so many sights on this river that you see. Approaching the boathouse, home in safe harbour. I've loved that. Kayaking on the Potomac in Washington DC, seeing the sights. What a magnificent river to get out onto. Hey, how are you? What a great way to see this city. Thanks so much for watching as I tell the story of our world through sport and adventure. My journey has now taken me south to Georgia. I'll be guiding you along what it's like to hike the approach trails of the Great Appalachian Trail. Staying in a remote lodge overnight that has to be experienced and keeping on constant bear watch. What was that? <laughs> Until then, you can watch more videos of my journey here. And of course, please do comment below with any thoughts or questions. It will be great to hear from you. And I'll see you next time.